Okay, ask me what the coolest thing about being in Mumford and Sons is. Ask you. Ask, ask, you. ask me. <laughs> what's Mary, the what's the coolest thing about being in Mumford and Sons? <laughs> the fact that the Cohen brothers are fans of yours. <laughs> 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 it's like one of the coolest things ever. And I know that you guys yeah, were huge fans, fans of Oh Brother Where Art Thou? And and that that now, I was just reading just recently, what was it now, that he's, the Coen brothers are making their 10th movie, which is set in 1960s Greenwich Village, and T-Bone Burnett is producing this, and they came to you, Marcus, to serve as sort of a, a like an associate producer mm, for it, or how did that work? Not quite true. I went to them on my knees yes. and begged them for a job just making tea and stuff in the studio because we'd met T-Bone and um, I basically asked whether I can just go and assist him um, and just watch what happened really. And we had a bit of time off and um, and amazingly, yeah, through the process they they sort of bumped me up from T-Boy to something else. I'm not really, well, I'm not really sure what it was, but um, yeah, it was amazing. It was really fun. And it's cool because his idea is not, even though it's set or or influenced by the 1960s, but they're using contemporary artists like Justin Timberlake, Patti Smith, Ava Brothers, Connor Oberst. And it's, I mean, again, the, the Coen brothers who are, you know, they're from here, from yeah. Minneapolis. Yeah. And uh, we're, you know, I just love the fact that they, they sort of, have never really completely left Minneapolis. They they still shoot here a lot, and they they still sort of have this spirit of this Midwest yeah. kind of thing. It's hard to describe. But what was it about Oh Brother Where Art Thou that sort of spoke to you? Uh, it was the music, really. Yeah. I mean, uh, when 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 it came out, what year did it come out? God, when was oh, that? Oh one. Yeah. Two thousand one. I mean, we were all basically just kids, you know. Um, we were teenagers and it came out and then I cottoned onto it towards the end of high school. So a few years after, like a couple of years after it came out and I just learned to drive and I was rolling around in my awesome Vauxhall Nova, um, which is an iconic car. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was a B-Reg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good knowledge. Um, and, uh, and blasting out this kind of weird kooky banjo music in London when no one else really was. With the windows oh, rolled down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a drum kit in the back. And yeah, it was like, it was such a funny time. Like, cause you know, and then it was about finding other people who were listening to that kind of music, mm -hmm. which we, which we did. And it was funny. I think it was a bit of a like fingers up to, you know, like our buddies at school and the cool kids that we definitely weren't. Um, because no one else is, or we didn't think anyone else was really listening to it. And then of course, like, Everyone's been listening to it forever and there was nothing, you know, new really about it. And in fact, that's exactly what was interesting about it. It, was, it wasn't new, I guess. And um, and we sort of came together, you know. I know brother, like, I was given a CD by one of my brother's friends at university when I was in high school with like um, a bunch of the songs off O oh Brother and then like some Gillian Welch and Dave Rawlings and some Old Crow Medicine show and some Alison Krauss. And, and then, yeah, so like, that was like, and then I picked up a guitar and started trying to write songs because of that stuff, really. So it was really like right in the fabric of... Right. And I think we all felt like we were, all, like we were really attached to that kind of, that old brother era, you know. Did you explain that to Joel and Ethan when you met them? Yeah, I did. I tried to. I, I, yeah, I was, I was trembling quite a lot. So I, <laughs> I can't really remember it very specifically. Um, I got really gooey eyed. and Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I tried to. It's, it's astonishing. Well, it's a perfect fit. Mumford & Sons live here in our studio on 89.3 The Current.